I think it's good to open, good to be open. Not everybody might have the experiences, but when you don't have experiences, um, at least um, trying to be open, that trying to be inspired. Um, uh, if clearly if you feel like some blockages and not open, and also just recognize that's okay also. Okay, it's okay to feel whatever you're feeling. But bottom line is it's okay to feel whatever you're feeling. And when you are not feeling open, it's far better to be, be aware of you're not open than, than defining the unopenness as a ultimate truth. Uh, that's not good because then that means that you're just basically the chances, the opportunity, it's, uh, it's getting more, how you say, prolonging itself. Just, I don't have experience, but I'm open to it. Maybe if, when you say that, I don't have, a, I don't have this in, uh, incredible experience that people are having, but I'm open to it. Maybe you have, maybe you've never said that before, you know? So if you've never said that before, this is something you're saying, something very first time, very new. And that clearly, that conscious, consciously willing to open itself, it's a probably most important development. Maybe for you, for that specific person, it's far more important than some of these beautiful experiences people are sharing. Well, these, some, some time people have this beautiful experience, they're having regularly these things, but you never had one this one before. So for you, in a way, that thought of being willing to open is the first and most probably one of the very important ones for you. Because even though it's not fantastic as, as other experiences, but it's very meaningful to you. So that being, knowing that not open and willing to open, and that I always feel, I think it's a very, very beneficial. 